Okay, now that we've been able to follow the, the line successfully, I'm going to run through a couple of the different locate modes that are available on, on different receivers that are out there. So as you can see, uh, we've got a screen set up here. We're in a mode that we call the peak mode, which is just going to give us a bar graph and a percentage to indicate how much signal we're picking up. I've got a sensitivity setting right now of 140, which means I've got my sensitivity maxed out. As I start to scan to look for that signal, whenever the sensitivity gets too strong, we're going to turn our sensitivity down. And you see one button push balance that sensitivity. As I keep coming, signal gets stronger again. We keep repeating that process, just as I showed before, until the signal drops out on the other side. Climbs up, drops out. So that's what we call a peak response. The other information you're seeing here on the screen, we've got our bar graph and our percentage. There's a circle with a line in it. That circle is a directional compass. It tells us what path that signal is traveling on. Essentially what way the, the wire or the pipe is laying in the ground. So as you see right now, that compass is oriented at 12 and 6. If I were to rotate my receiver, we lose our signal because our antennas are not properly aligned, but the compass antenna still recognizes that the signal is traveling that direction. As soon as I rotate the, the signal back so that it, the tool is square to it, my compass is straight again. Additionally on the screen, in the bottom right hand corner, we have a depth reading. And the tool right now is reading you know, 1 foot 10, 1 foot 11 inches. As I lower this down to the ground, signal gets stronger, so I'll turn my sensitivity down again, and the depth reading has dropped with me. As I raise it back up, you see that depth reading coming back up with me. If the depth goes up and down evenly the way I just showed you, it indicates that we have a good accurate depth reading. Another number in the bottom left hand corner is reading 15 milliamps. That's how much actual current we are reading on this line. This number is useful for two reasons. One, to know how much signal you have, so as you're following the, the signal or following your pipe, eventually that signal runs out. Um, so you know how much signal you have left as that signal is getting weaker and weaker. This number is also useful to tell if you're bleeding off onto another utility. So if I have 15 milliamps on my gas service that I'm trying to locate and 4 milliamps on a signal that's neighboring it, say an electric line, I know that the one with 15 milliamps is stronger, it's the one I'm actually connected to. So again, all of that is what we call the peak locating mode. Now I'm going to switch to a mode that on this particular tool we call peak plus. Some people call uh, peak null combination mode. And again, you hear the tool is screaming at me. So I'm going to turn my sensitivity down. I still have a bar graph and a percentage, but I also have an arrow on my screen now. And the arrow is telling me what direction to go for that signal. If I move away, the arrow is still telling me to go back that direction. My signal's gotten weaker. As I get closer, signal gets stronger and stronger. Once the uh, arrow starts getting shorter, we know that we're getting very close to our signal. When the arrows are matching on the screen, we know we're right on it. And if we go off to the other side, you'll see your signal get weaker again, and the arrow will get longer again. So we use the bar graph to help identify where our signal is and we use the arrows to help identify where our signal is. So it's just multiple tools helping guide you towards where that, that pipe is if you don't know. Next mode we have is what we call the null mode. In the null mode, again we have some sensitivity control, so I turn my sensitivity down. As I go off to one side though, you see my sensitivity got stronger. As I keep coming back towards where the pipe is, the sensitivity is getting very weak. And as I go off to the other side, you hear it's getting stronger again. So a null will give me arrows left and right, and when it's quiet, we're right on top of it. Typically, we don't recommend using the null by itself uh, because it can be very subject to a distorted signal. Next mode I'm going to talk about is, is a mode that we call the guidance mode um, on our equipment. Uh, this will give us a null response, but guidance modes use a combination of peak and null antennas, and there's a lot of equipment out there that utilizes a mode like this. 
So what you can see is we have an arrow telling us what direction to go for, for where that pipe is. My bar graph is full, but there's a break in it off to the side. That's going to be a center line needle. When that's in the center of my screen is when I'm going to know I'm right on it. And I've got a signal strength reading here now instead of a percentage. If I get farther away from that pipe, you see my signal strength is getting weaker. As I get closer, it gets stronger and stronger. You see that center line needle is now in the middle of the screen and my arrows are together. And my, sig my signal strength is at its highest. If I go lower to the ground, signal strength gets even stronger. So it's just a reference to tell me how much signal I'm picking up. Also notice when I was off to one side, the arrow is telling me what direction to go and the tool is beeping at me. If I go off to the other side, the arrow is telling me to go back and it's giving me a solid tone. And when I'm right on top of it, again, because this is a null response, the tool is quiet. Additionally, in this mode, we don't have to adjust sensitivity. In the previous modes, we controlled how much signal the tool was picking up. In this mode, it automatically adjusts sensitivity. So as I hit my up and down arrow, up and down arrow as I was before, nothing's happening in this mode because it's an automatic adjustment.